What's going on everybody, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Siege Refractor Reconnaissance Team 3-Pack. Now this is the not necessarily convention exclusive version of the Refractor mold from Transformers Siege, but it is an exclusive version uh, only to online shops and things like that. I think a few different online stores have it. I picked this up from Hasbro Pulse uh, for $69.99, and uh, I think it was a pretty good deal. I know in my Refractor uh, review I mentioned that I wasn't really uh, keen on the idea necessarily of buying three of the same mold uh, at $20 a piece, but uh, in this case I think the different uh, paint schemes and uh, accessories kind of help make make up the, uh, the difference there and uh, made me feel better about the purchase. So all that to say, this is the packaging. It's really nice. Uh, you get this nice uh, you know, uh, rainbow foil uh, printing all over the box here. Let's see on the top, all that nice foil. On the sides, you get this uh, pretty cool artwork of the main Siege uh, package art, uh, but with different pieces of the image cut out uh, as if they were, you know, photographs uh, taken by Refractor here. You can see that uh, that carries over onto the back. Uh, with Prime here, and you can see on the back this little uh, uh, this little uh, note telling you that it's not a functioning camera, and you've got a little blurb here with all the different uh, character names, uh, which you can pause and read if you so desire. And then on the side here, you can see the three different characters uh, just on there. And then on the bottom, you can see the UPC. Uh, so yeah. Uh, you've got a clear plastic bubble on the front, which is cool. Lets you see inside, see the camera mode. Uh, my package is empty already, so you're not going to find that. But uh, you can see my reflection, which I guess is fun. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the package. And we will check these bots out right now. Alright guys, so here we have the Refractor Team 3-pack, and I just want to show you the instruction manual uh, really quickly, because I think it's it's kind of neat what they did here. Uh, well, I mean, they, they show all of the accessories, which I'm not going to name by the names that they used, because I can't, my my brain will not allow me to retain that, that much different information. Um, we can see there's there's all shooting tips, uh, system map, and customization. So shooting tips, it's got all these uh, neat pictures of the different characters here, and it and it tells you like how how best to. It's like an instruction manual for the team. Um, so it's got all these different characters, and then it tells you you know blackmail, star scream, uh, surveillance on Autobots, and things like that. And it's got uh, just a couple of cool little pages there. Uh, then it shows you the different characters and their components and shows you all the different uh, uh, power levels for all the different uh, different components here. And then it goes into the instructions. So, um, pretty cool. And it shows you how to turn them into that weird long gun chip thing too if you so desire. So you got that going on. So just wanted to show that off. Here is the camera mode and let's take a quick look at this accessory first. We've got Krem Zeke here. Little Krem Zeke. And he's he's fine. I mean he's nice little sculpted Krem Zeke. Um, for those of you who don't know who Krem Zeke is, he's like a little electricity monster created by the Decepticons and I don't remember much else beyond that. Uh, the episode was really annoying for me <laughs> to watch. I did not enjoy it at all. So I don't really remember that much about Kremzik, but I remember uh, I'm not the biggest fan. But you do get a little guy here, and he does have some little peg holes in his feet so you can uh, stick them on to whatever, whatever posts you would like for any of these, uh, any of these blast effect accessories. Uh, so, you know, you got that going on. So there's Kremzy. There is a little peg right there, and he stands on that quite nicely. So you've got that going on. So here is the camera mode for the Refractor team. And uh, as you can see, it's maybe a little bit cheaty, uh, but at the same time, it's, it's very much reminiscent of the G1 toy set. So uh, I think in that way, it kind of gets away with doing some stuff that normally people would be 
not too fond of but so you've got this big piece right over here uh, the shutter guard shield or whatever uh, you get this bit up here the viewfinder um, and you can see the back of the camera mode as well you've got all three of these figures do come with one of the uh, one of the little circle jobbies so you can attach them to all three if you so desire you've got a you know little button up here it doesn't work which is kind of a shame uh, if you know a couple of these buttons were at least like a little springy or something like that uh, you do have a little flash up here and other than that not too much going on the, the uh, weapons of course turn into the stand uh, for the camera mode as well as the shields turning into the lens so pretty neat so we've got uh, spectro we got viewfinder and then spyglass over here and uh, it's it's a nice solid camera mode like they're just held together by simple pegs there's nothing like locking them together uh, but it's very solid there's nothing shaking or loose or falling apart here so very pleased about that um, yeah so really cool all right so let's go ahead and get these guys into their robot modes we're just going to detach this here. And if you have the original refractor figure from Siege, you pretty much know what to expect as far as transformation goes. It's very simple to get these guys into the camera uh, mode transformation and out of it uh, subsequently. So we're just going to remove all the extra pieces here. Uh, this piece is actually going to slide forward and come off. You can see there are little uh, tabs here that are going to slot into these bits on the robot mode shoulders here. As far as this goes, you want to go ahead and pull this section forward and then it lifts up and then it's a lot easier to unpeg from the top there. And this turns into a shield of sorts if you uh, <laughs> if you want it to. Uh, but we'll just put that off to the side for now. So this is the basic super basic camera mode. You, you know, if you've got just the uh, three of the regular refractors, this is what you're going to end up with. And it's still a decent camera mode. It's pretty much just a brick with a, you know, with a lens on it. And you can, of course, plug the stand into it as well. So I think the accessories do add a lot to the figures, but, or to the camera mode as a whole, and, and to the individual figures as well. Um, but, you know, it's not really necessary, I guess. Uh, you can still get away with it if you just have the three refractor toys. Um, but like I said in my refractor review, I do like, uh, I do feel that it's a little bit more worth the money to have the accessories and make it look a little bit more like a, a legit camera. So anyway, we're just going to unplug this whole section and it's just going to explode. And we'll put those to the side. And then we've just got this brick. And again, they're just pegged together. Uh, you can even see the connector points. You've got a peg here, hole here, and a peg here. And you've got that on all sides of all the figures. So you can combine them any way you choose. But this is the most G1-y way <laughs> to do it. And it's super solid. So we're going to go ahead and unplug these guys. And Spectro here is a tiny little cube brick. And we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, kind of kind of push on his legs from the bottom here because there are tabs on the inside backs of the feet that are going to tab into these bits on the shoulders and they can be a little tight if you're just trying to pull it straight forward so you just want to get a little bit of a push upward so we're going to bring the legs down fold these bits in unpeg the legs flip them around Flip the waist around, bring these bits out to the side, flip the head up and around, and then just get the fists out, and you've got Spectro. And the transformation is exactly the same for all three of the figures, so I'm just going to do it very quickly uh, without going into the individual transformation, so you don't have to really worry about all of that over again. You can watch the video and see what I'm doing. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but I'm not going to explain it and do it slowly like I normally would on a regular 
video because you guys get the idea. And I'll, I will show them off individually when I'm putting on their accessories because those are going to be a little bit different for each one. But there's viewfinder, and lastly, spyglass. and get the head up here. Spyglass is a little tighter than the other two and I think that's just because of the metallic paint all over his body which is not a complaint. He looks really really good um, but it does tend to make him a little a little tighter in the joints and stuff trying to just get him transformed. So there you have the three robots uh, pretty much naked of their accessories but you, you can get an idea of what to expect here. And then you can take uh, this bit here, and the instructions have it like on his shoulder, I guess, sort of a deal. Um, I'm not exactly sure how. Um, so it's kind of, I don't know, sort of like that, I think, as like a, a shield. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much I like that. Um, so what you can do is kind of put it sort of, I don't know, just whatever whatever works for you. It doesn't really, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I, had, I had a way that looked pretty good before, but I can't remember exactly. Um, whatever. Uh, so you get this bit. And you can kind of use it however you like. Maybe I put it in this hand. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so you got that. And now it's kind of a shield there. And then we can take one of these uh, one of these bits. And you got to pull this off. And give it back to this bad boy. And all the guns just separate. And then you can just put it like that. And then, of course, you've got the... Uh, the regular shield that he comes with. So you can put that on his shoulder or on his back. You can plug it into this hole on his back if you want to. It doesn't stay in super securely, uh, but it does stay in all right. And uh, yeah, this, this bit here is kind of the most problematic piece of the entire set because it really doesn't look amazing uh, no matter where you put it. It's not a very convincing shield, um, but you know, it's okay, <laughs> I guess. And then we've got viewfinder. And you can take these bits and separate them. Flip these around, like so. And you just plug those in to his shoulders. And then you can, of course, get my shield, get my gun. And there's viewfinder. And then spyglass, same kind of deal here. You give him a shield. This goes in his shoulder or wherever you want it to go. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. And then you give him a gun. And then there you have the entire team ready to go. And uh, you know, I think I think it's great. I think it's it's a really well done set. Uh, again, the the shield here, I'm not a huge fan of, and I'm wondering if maybe it shows some kind of better way to use it that I just missed. Um, but yeah, not not really. <laughs> it's pretty much exactly uh, exactly what I showed you. Um, just flipping it around his back, which completely limits the movement of his arm uh, out to the sides. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but uh, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Um, either way, uh, really nice set overall. Uh, very easy to transform back and forth, which I really appreciate. And we can even scoot these guys over and show them off with 
siege refractor. So if you wanted maybe a more uniform looking camera mode, you could even omit uh, spectro here for uh, you know refractor uh, and kind of get that more bluey purple throughout the entire thing. Um, but overall, I think it's a really, really nice set. Um, they all look good together. Uh, they look good individually. Uh, the refractor toy itself, the mold, is a really cool figure. It's a nice, easily uh, playable figure. It's a good like desktop kind of fiddle with figure. Um, and I do like the accessories. Even Creme Zeke, who, you know, whatever. <laughs> so if you're a big Creme Zeke fan, you can go out and get this set. Uh, but I think the asking price is very much worth it since it is the three molds uh, with new colors, with really great, and I, you know, I failed to show these guys off very, very well individually, but I didn't want the, uh, the video to go too, too long. But you can see really nice metallic paint job on this guy uh, all the way around his back and uh, just looking really, really snazzy. Uh, this guy's got a different different paint scheme and a little uh, spyglass area there and just just really well done for all three figures uh, nice paint paint work nice paint applications uh, and yeah the accessories are cool too uh, even this bit which really only serves to make a more convincing looking camera but I think overall it works for the most part so yeah 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 I think it's a good set it's up to you whether or not the uh, the asking price is worth it because you can just go and get three of the refractor figures and have it for you know ten ten dollars cheaper fifteen dollars depending on you know shipping and whatever so anyway that's going to do it for this review guys i want to thank you so very much for watching uh, as always if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button it really does help me out of course subscribe if you want to see more uh but in the meantime thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now